So we're going to create a template for how to uh, to create a blog archive page. And this kind of page is just basically going to hold all your different blog posts that you have. Kind of like a landing page for people to, to direct people to the different your different posts. Um, so you could have a page that includes all your blog post categories, or you could have a page that only includes um, desserts if you have recipes, could only include news. Uh, events. So here's an example of one that I've done. Uh, just has a header image and when you click blogs this is the page it, that comes up. And I only have three blog posts right now but it's showing um, all the different categories. So I have helpful tips, events, and news. So all the blogs appear um, on the page. Uh, and here's the categories over here as well. When they click this, it goes to another archive page just for that category. Um, they can also switch between posts. Um, actually, I had more than one, three, more than three blog posts, but they can go back and scroll through all the different blog posts. I also have a search feature here, so they can. Um, uh, bring up um, specific terms that they're looking for. Maybe they're looking for a term like uh, social media or a fundraiser or uh, a golf tournament. Maybe they're looking for like a, a recipe, like dessert recipe. They might they can search it in uh, the search the search form here. So this is the one that I did, and you can just subscribe here. But let's take a look at some other examples. So this is called Serious Eats, and they have uh, three blog posts here, some of their categories on the left, and then they have a bunch of more posts below, and they organize it, their categories down here. They have another category here, like a, so it's like a horizontal row. We have called Pinch of Yum, and they have a sidebar here, so um, you can um, specifically look for certain things, certain recipe ingredients. So filter, and more pages, and this one um, just lists uh, all the recipes, there doesn't seem to be, oh yeah, these are categories, I think, yeah latest recipes. So they organize it in different ways. They also have a sidebar as well. So they have a search here on the side, uh, subscribe option, and they have their categories as well on the side. Lots of categories. Here's another one, uh, full page layout. There's no sidebar, but they have a search bar. And you can also check their categories. And they have a four grid layout. So they have another category here, breakfast and brunch. This one is engineers without borders and they also have a search bar. You can search by cat tags and by categories. And they have like a different kind of grid style blog post. It's kind of cool. You can navigate to the different pages. Here's a Sick Kids Foundation. And also they have a search bar filter option by tags, by category, by date. Uh, then they have three blog posts um, in each column, sorry, each row. And again, you can scroll to the different sections. Let's get started with adding our, our blog archive page. So we're going to go to templates, theme builder, uh, archive, add new, our archive here. Archive. Like. From here, we can select um, a bunch of different uh, templates to choose from. 
So we'll go ahead and scroll down. This one has a sidebar if you like that. Uh, this one also. So I'm just going to choose this one. So if you click the pencil tool here, uh, there's different options to how you want to lay out the grid. You could do uh, a classic style. Something. Cards. So it has uh, like a border around it. Full content. You can also change the positioning of the photo, uh, the size of the image, how much the excerpt length, so how long do you want the, the intro to be. You can delete some things that come up, up here in the post. You can have a read more or deactivate the read more. Uh, you can add a section for pagination so uh, if you have more than uh, if, if you have lots of posts you can add people ask people to go back or forward. If you wanted to add um, a search bar you just go to the widgets and here's you add the search form. But, you can style it. Let's say I want to build this from scratch instead of using a template. I can do that too. Uh, so I'll go here. Let's say I wanted to get um, a sidebar. So um, you go to archive, blog, archive post and insert it in there. Automatically populates. And for here, I can add a search bar, a newsletter sign up, uh, I can add category topics. And to do that, I can um, add something called the sidebar. And how this sidebar appears is through your theme. So it could be Astra or Ocean WP. And to get to the to the sidebar within WordPress, we have to go back to the dashboard. So this is my sidebar right now. It's listing a search bar, recent posts, categories. Um, the text is white here, so you can't really oops, can't really see it. But the the cat they're all there. To get to the um, the dashboard, we're gonna go. Um, to back to our dashboard and go to appearance, widgets. And from here we can, we see the main sidebar right here and we can remove things, um, we can add things to it. I'm just going to move that back to say three. So you can add uh, different things that you want in your sidebar here. And like I showed before, you just click uh, the sidebar and it automatically populates. Another thing I want to show you is how to display your blog posts um, by specific categories. And to do that, we need to add um, blog posts, not archive posts widgets. So we had archive posts inserted here, but we need just uh, regular posts. So we go to this widget here. Query. Um, 
we say include by term, and the term will ask us to enter information. I think I had events, so I'll go. Yeah, here we are. So it'll search for, I only have one blog post for that, so it'll show here. And then if you wanted the post to appear what category it's in, uh, you need to change the layout to cards. And the cards one will uh, show category or tags if you have them. And then if you didn't want uh, the, the author image here, you just go to layout and remove the avatar. So I've showed you a few different ways how to build your blog post archive page. You can do it through a template, you can build it on your own, you can add a sidebar um, through your dashboard as well. Um, you can change how many columns there are, how many posts appear, you can add category, show your posts as categories only, um, so you only want events on the page, you can do that uh, through the query. Um, so that's, there's a lot of different options there. Go ahead and uh, build out your blog archive page. When you're done, you go to publish, add condition, and uh, apply to all archives.